What's going on YouTube? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with an SAB comment, but this isn't the little comment. It is the big comment. So we just got this model and we are going to go ahead and start getting it ready to fly. So we got a couple things laid out on the table. So the first thing, of course, is a Brain 2 HD because we're going to be running a separate 2S LiPo for this thing. We have a Spectrum SRXL2 as well as a DSMX carbon safe satellite. I have two of them, not sure if I'm gonna run one or two yet. And we also got this in, which is the SAB retractable skid for the Comet. So we're gonna go ahead, get the canopy pulled off this thing, go over kind of the setup. We're gonna start tearing it down and getting ready to put the skid in, get the icon or brain in, get our satellites, everything wired up, and let's see what's under the canopy. So we got the canopy pulled off. We are running a Hobby Wing 200. We have MKS servos all the way around, three on cyclic, one on the tail. We already have a separate 2S LiPo line ran here, RC Pro connector for the 2S LiPo, RC Pro S7s on the ESC. We are running an Xnova motor, and there is a Beast X or 7300 B sticks on there. We're going to pull all that off. We're going to put our brain on there. So we're going to start disassembling everything. We need to pull the mechanics out to get into the bottom part of the fuselage so we can get our retract mounted, clean up the wiring, go over everything. Now this setup motor and ESC are going to change. So they won't be in here permanently, but they will be in here for the test flights. We're going to go to a different motor, different ESC, more power. Also these blades are going to be changed these are 800 so they're really big they're not good for speed but we're going to order a set of special speed blades for this model as well as special 96 millimeter tail blades for this model so let's go ahead and start pulling everything apart first thing i'm going to do is pull the blades off then i'm going to start pulling this mount off get all this taken out and then we'll pull now the mechanics out. removing old double-sided tape can be a pain sometimes so the satellite came right off no problem but the fly barless unit is stuck down very well so there's two options you can do you can take a heat gun you can heat the surface and get it to let go the problem with doing that is we have a lot of painted surface here we have a fly barless unit here we don't want to heat it because you can really mess up your fly barless unit if you get it too hot melt the plastic now, I would like to pull the plate off, but the problem is, is I can't get to the screws. I can kind of get to one, but I can't get to this one. So a great tip for you guys is some of this braided fishing line. This is 30 pound test, get it at Walmart. And what you do is you take the braided part of the line, wrap it around two screwdrivers and basically just work it back and forth like a saw, but don't wrap it around your fingers because you can mess you yourself cut up. through it you will get a lot of residue left over and it's very hard to get off. This is when you come in with your heat gun. Go ahead, heat it up, get it nice and pliable, and then just start rubbing it, peeling it off. If you have any leftover residue, you can use Goo Gone, but heating it works very well. Just kind of use your finger, your thumb, and just start rolling and it will come off, but be careful because it will be hot and you can burn yourself and you just do this till you get it all so off. To pull the mechanics out, it's just two, two and a half millimeter screws, one on each side of the motor and four, three millimeter screws, two on each side. So we're going to go ahead, pull these two on each side and then pull this one and that one on the other side and the mechanic should lift all out. Of our bolts are out. So now we should be able to lift the mechanics out, disconnect the tail belt and we can see what is under here so let's pull that now our mechanics are out let's set that aside and now we have access to where our retract is going we to got go the retract out here and i already went ahead and double-sided taped the controller onto it so we're gonna have to cut and shorten our power and ground lines so positive and negative we got to get those ran up to the motor put a piece of heat shrink and then this line will run through here, up out of this hole into our fly barless unit. We got bullet connectors going to our main lead. So if we have to take anything apart, this is going to sit down into here, just like that, bolt from the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these wires soldered up and then get ready to install our bolts here with Loctite. But I'm gonna leave the actual skid part off of the retract until we are done setting it up. So that way we'll just leave this on and then Whenever we get it set up, we'll get the skid retract off. is mounted and went ahead, ran the wire this way. And then I made up a extension real quick. 
crimped on one end. So now that guy's plugged in and we're gonna run it through this tube. And then I just went ahead and placed the Brain 2 HD. So we're running an HD for the separate power port. I soldered up some bullet connectors and now I'm about to put a piece of heat shrink over here, piece, shrink, piece of heat shrink over here. That'll secure those, run them back through that tube. That goes to our HD port, which will plug into here and then pull the wire back this way. So we have our 2S power lead more over here. The retract is bolted in from the bottom, chipped a little bit of the paint. We're gonna go ahead and add the skid after we we'll get everything set up and then we'll remove these little fish fin skids. Got the SRXL2 under this tray right here. Now this is not Loctite, it's just temporarily put in place while I'm trying to figure out where everything is gonna go. And we'll end up clearing these holes a little bigger for the antennas to come through. So the SRXL2 will go here. And the DSMX satellite, I'm thinking, is going to go down here, like right here somewhere. And I'll run a little tube out this hole. So the DSMX satellite antenna will come out this bottom right here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead, get this heat shrunk down, get this ran plugged into here. And we'll start moving this wire through this hole. wires are ran. So they go down bullet connectors and then we also got the satellite ran piece of tubing covered in heat shrink it comes out the bottom so our dsmx satellite antenna is out the bottom and then now i just need to open up these holes here put some tubing and run our srxl2 wires out the side then need to go ahead crimp on a new end this is for the retract that we have mounted. So let's keep moving forward. We'll get the mechanics tossed back in this thing and start wiring up all this. ahead and got the tubes installed. Now all these tubes are, is just some of this little push rod guide. So this is stuff for going through like airplane push rods. You put it through the fuselage and whatnot. So I have a bunch of it. I cut it the length and that's what I did. So I drilled the hole out a little bit bigger and you can see here, just ran it through the fuselage. So that will allow our antennas to go in and out and have a nice protection, hold our antennas where we want them, cover these tubes in black heat shrink, and it'll look good. Got the antenna tubes heat shrunk and the SRXL2 antennas mounted. So now we have nice and clean antennas out. Got our screws Loctited to hold our fly barless mount in place. Our SRXL2 is up underneath. So now we are ready to go ahead and toss the mechanics back in the body. So we got the bolts pulled out, our retract is mounted, everything inside of here is done and ready. So now we're gonna go ahead, get the mechanics, slap back on the body, get the tail belt on and lock tight everything Mechanics down. are bolted back in. So tail belt is tensioned, everything is free. We got our tail rotation the correct way with our clockwise main, counterclockwise tail. Tension feels good. So now we're gonna start wiring everything up, figuring out what goes to what. Put a new end on this wire here for our retract run a new governor line and get this thing ready to fly. I think I figured out the wiring. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run everything out this side here. It's gonna come down, swoop, and then go into the fly barless unit. And actually we only have to shorten one servo, which is servo two, and it's this back servo. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these wires covered in heat shrink. And then we still need to run a telemetry line. Now this is an opto ESC. So that is why we have a separate 2S LiPo. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these wires covered in heat shrink, get a new end crimped on that, and then we'll see what this is looking started like. Started covering the wires in heat shrink. So we got all the servo heat shrink on. We still have to shrink it down, but it's on there. And then I'm going to extend the governor line on this ESC because it was cut short because this helicopter had a beast X in it, 7300, so they didn't run the RPM line. Now, I don't know if we're gonna run the governor on this specific model, but I want the RPM signal. So we are also going to go ahead and solder in a line for our telemetry from channel five. Now, if you guys haven't seen the telemetry video, I did post that already. So you guys can go back and check on how to get telemetry from your Hobbywing ESC to your icon. So now I'm gonna go ahead, get this stuff soldered up, get a bullet connector put on the end of this so we can take it off if need be and get this stuff shrunk down. We just got all the wires heat shrunk, got the masterpiece, so a piece of half inch six inches long so i ran it and then heated it up so it would follow the fan shroud air duct and then we got all of our wires into our brain too so now we have to finish our telemetry line which is coming out the other side you can't see but it'll be a two millimeter bullet it'll come up under and to this port of the esc 
And then the wiring of this model is completed and we can start on actual radio setup and seeing that retract work. Telemetry line is done. We got our bullet connector up underneath here. Went ahead and got our wires zip tied for the motor and got our ESC leads zip tied up to where they're supposed to be. So now it is time to set up the fly barless unit and see this retract. We are all set up on the icon. Now I have the model flipped upside down here so we can get the retract ready. So I already went ahead and pulled the little fish fin mounts off. They look like a fish fin. So it's pulled off and now we are ready to install our skid for the retract. So we have our screws here, we have our retract here. So I wanted to do this for the first time on camera. We are going to flip the retract switch, which is going to be this switch right here. And watch the retract come out. So now we are going to take our skid here. We are going to screw it into place just like this. Loctite our screws, two and a half millimeter driver. I'm going to get that done and let's see it. Got our screws loctited. Everything is tightened down. So for the first time, let's see how this retract works. So I'm going to go ahead, flip my switch. Tucks down in there very nicely. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip it again to retract out. That is so cool. One step closer. Comet is flipped back over, sitting on its skids. And we just threw on some Rototech 715 Ultimates. Now these blades are only for testing. They are not for official speed runs. And we also got the 96 millimeter tail blades, the Ultimates. Now again, only for testing, just to get the helicopter flying and set up. I didn't want to run the 720s. So it is officially done and ready for phase one. Phase one is just the testing stage. So we are gonna officially go for the world record. So that's what we are going to do with this Comet. And we have a completely new power system, way more power. And I will say the first flights, maiden flights, everything will be done on 14S. And we're gonna go up from there. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Patreon, PayPal in the description below. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care and have a great day.